Hi, welcome back to the Advanced Information System Security Managers course. I'm Mike Redman, here to help you advance your career in information security. We've made it to our final section, section four, information security incident management. Again, let's start with the definition. When we look at information security incident management, what we're dealing with is the capacity and capability to effectively manage an unexpected disruptive event. At its heart, information response is the operational capability of incident management that identifies, prepares, and responds to incidents to control and limit the damage. In this domain, we're going to ensure that you, the information security manager, has the knowledge and understanding necessary to identify, analyze, manage, and respond effectively to unexpected events. For those of you studying for the ISACA SISM, this is approximately 18% of the total exam, or about 36 questions. So why do we need incident management? Considering the need for incident response, uh, business continuity and disaster recovery work hand in hand. Uh, incident response procedures, business continuity and disaster recovery procedures, and testing of these plans help ensure a stable environment within the organization, as well as making sure that all post-incident and event activities and investigations are held. The purpose of incident management and response is to manage and respond to unexpected disruptive events. Events. Uh, incident management can handle activities that either serve to minimize the possibility of occurrences or at minimum lessen the impact or even both. It's important to remember that information management, problem management, and disaster recovery planning are separate but complementary processes. The extent of incident management and response capabilities must be carefully balanced with baseline security, continuity, and disaster recovery. So the goal of incident management activities can be summarized as this, uh, identify, analyze, manage, contain, eradicate, recover, and document. In fact, many organizations have a separate department responsible simply for business continuity and disaster recovery. And the extent of information security involvement and authority is going to vary widely. However, all personnel must be trained to recognize potential incidents, as well as ensuring proper classification, and must be trained in notification, reporting, and escalation requirements. There's no guarantee that the best possible controls will prevent disruptive and sometimes even catastrophic incidents from occurring. Uh, response management enables the business to respond effectively when incidents occur to continue operations and survive those interruptions. To effectively deal with incidents, it's important for the information security manager to have a good conceptual and practical understanding of what is required to adequately address these responsibilities. Carnegie Mellon provides the following concepts for your consideration, incident handling, effective incident management, and incident response. Let's take a look at each one at a time. Incident handling. When dealing with incident handling, what we're looking for is detection and reporting of the incident itself, proper triage to know what is important and what can wait, proper and strong analyzation, what are you really dealing with, and total incident response, what is the whole package. Effective incident management will ensure that incidents are detected, recorded, and managed to limit the overall impacts. However, incident response is the last step in incident handling. It's the process that encompasses the planning and coordination and execution of any appropriate mitigation and recovery strategies in action. As organizations increasingly rely on information processes, the criticality of effective incident management has grown. Some factors that affect this can include increasing occurrences and escalating losses, uh, increased vulnerabilities, uh, failure of security controls and legal and re regulatory requirements and the growing sophistication of attackers as a whole. As part of your plan, periodic testing should be included. What you're looking for is the performance of their incident management and response capabilities that 
in fact, will ensure that information assets are adequately protected. Effective incident response plans are in place. Incidents are identified and contained. Good control of communication flow. Well-documented lessons learned and a level of assurance necessary to provide to internal and external stakeholders. In fact, the sheer amount of information and activities in increasingly complex systems has driven the development of automated incident management systems. We call these unified threat management. For instance, it will contain multiple specific incident detection capabilities like a NIDS HIDS and a SIM product. Another significant feature of incident management systems is their ability to track an incident during its life cycle. This allows for potential efficiencies and cost savings that can be realized using automated incident management systems. Considerations include the total operating costs as well as the complete recovery costs.